Number 8. Lipansky Veer Strange stone sculptures found at an ancient site on the Danube continue to keep archaeologists guessing about who created them and why they have such bizarre features. Found at a Serbian settlement known as Lipinski Vir, the small stone heads were sculpted with haunting fish-like faces and no one has any idea who did them. Sculpted over 200 years ago, experts are trying to pinpoint why the faces have bulging eyes and strange turned-down mouths. The site was first inhabited by local hunters and gatherers who lived alongside farmers from the Near East who had migrated there over 12,000 years ago. Archaeologists who have been working at the site since the late 1960s have found a large number of treasures that were remarkably well preserved. With permanent living arrangements, the location has been nicknamed the first city in Europe. But despite its advanced sense of organization, there aren't many clues about the statuettes. Carved from round sandstone cobbles found on the riverbanks, they are some of the oldest sculptures of the size ever found. So, were they supposed to represent the ancient locals? Or were they crafted to appease ancient deities? Experts think they could have been made as an offering to local river gods, though others think they may have been tributes to represent lost loved ones. What do you think about these bizarre carvings? Were they religious, or simply a way to pay honor to the dead? After discovering a larger village and several smaller ones at Lepensky Veer, researchers concluded that various different cultures lived at the site over time. It will take more study to pinpoint the belief system held by its former inhabitants before experts can understand the appearance of these strange stone sculptures. Number 7. Acrocorinth Could a fountain in Greece have ties to mythological creatures? It just might, if you believe the legends that surround the Perini fountain in Corinth, an ancient city west of Athens. Acrocorinth was inhabited since the Neolithic age, and it was mentioned a number of times in Greek mythology. It's one of the most impressive fortresses in Greece, sitting on volcanic rock overlooking the sea. But the site isn't known only for its views. Multiple legends about how the fountain was created make the area a complete mystery. One of the stories says the nymph Perini cried so much after the death of her son that her tears created the fountain. Another legend says that the winged horse Pegasus struck his hoof on the ground to create the natural spring. Whatever you believe, the Acro Corinth became an important historical landmark. There's a courtyard, an open-air fountain, and an impressive system of water ducts, pumping basins and subterranean chambers to circulate the life-giving water underground. Later, beautiful marble columns and archways and a burial ground were added to the ancient fortified city. The site also has ties to an ancient cult, but experts aren't sure whether it was dedicated to Helios, the sun god, or to Apollo, who was the god of light. Either way, the Acre Corinth is a curious site, with ties to legend and mythology, making it an important piece of Greece's history. Number 6. Centum Celis An imposing Roman tower overlooking the village of Colmiel de Torre in Portugal has kept visitors guessing about its purpose for centuries. Could the structure known as the Centum Celis, which means 100 cells, be where Saint Cornelia was imprisoned? It would have been easy to keep him captive there. The building was constructed from thick stone walls and was located away from the local communities to keep them safe. But why was it so different from the ruins found in Conimbriga, the largest Roman city in Portugal? And why have there been no similar structures found on the entire Iberian Peninsula? Excavations done at the end of the 20th century offered more clues and more questions about the building. Some thought it was a praetorium, the central part of a Roman camp. And when archaeologists found evidence that it was part of a much larger complex, they seemed to be onto something. But it wasn't a prison or even an inn for travelers. When the ruins of Centum Cellas were excavated, the telltale signs of rooms, corridors, staircases, and cellars led experts to believe it once belonged to a wealthy Roman citizen named Lucius Caecilius, who made a fortune trading pewter to other nations. Even though only the tower remains, hidden under centuries of dust and debris. The outlines of the vast complex allowed researchers to once and for all declare its true origins. Would you like to visit this site? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 5. The Chabimura Reliefs There are several myths surrounding the mysterious and isolated Chabimura Reliefs in India. Hidden in the mountains of Tripura, the place is famous for its panels of rock carvings on the steep mountain wall on the bank of the Gomati River. 
But who is responsible for these strange carvings? Why are they there? The carvings include massive images of Shiva, Vishnu, Kartika, Mahishasura Mardini Durga, and other gods and goddesses, dating back to 15th to 16th centuries AD. The hill ranges are covered with lush vegetation and can only be reached by trekking through the thick jungle. So how is it possible that anyone was able to carve these panels on such steep rocky walls? Not far from the panels is a treacherous cave with its own mysterious past. Legend says that King Chichingfa hid a grand treasure inside, but locals warn visitors not to enter the cave system, believing the deity Chakrakma will inflict her wrath on anyone who trespasses. Maybe that's why one of the idols carved into the rock walls is of Chakrakma herself. Shown with ten hands and with snakes as her hair, she is a terrifying sight that is often visited and left with offerings of plants and flowers to appease her. Chabimura means mountain of pictures and stands 150 feet above the river. The precarious position on the steep walls of the gorge still pose more questions than answers. How were such intricate carvings done in such a remote location? Were they placed there for decoration or as a way to ward off evil? As beautiful and haunting as the surroundings, the rock panels are a memorable landmark hidden in the jungles of India. Number 4. Poverty Point Whoever lived at Poverty Point 3,000 years ago left no written records of what they did in their day-to-day -day lives. Archaeologists know that the site was a ceremonial center that was once home to hundreds, maybe even thousands of people, as well as an important trading hub unmatched by any in North America at that time. The site was once at the center of an important trade network. With the largest earthworks in the Western Hemisphere, experts were astonished with its construction. Multiple mounds of C-shaped ridges built by American Indians 3,400 years ago were unlike any other ancient sites found. Experts believe it was the first city in North America. Researchers have learned about these people by studying the materials they left behind, as well as what they didn't leave behind, such as burials and crop remains. So, how could one of the biggest ancient trade centers be such a success without growing crops or raising animals? That was the question archaeologists had upon discovering Poverty Point. Burial mounds were quite common throughout North America, yet the absence of human remains at Poverty Point suggests these handmade monumental earthworks were being used for other purposes. Poverty Point was built sometime between 1700 and 1100 BC. At this time, a lot was going on in the world. In Britain, Stonehenge was near completion. In Egypt, Queen Nefertiti and Pharaoh Tut ruled. The Shang Dynasty was thriving in China. The Olmec were rising to power in Mexico, and the oldest Hinduism's sacred book was being written in India. The question of why Poverty Point was abandoned remains unanswered. An American Indian group came along around 700 AD and reused a small portion of the site, but besides that, it remained abandoned until its rediscovery in the 1800s. Number 3. Kampalgar Wall most of us know about the Great Wall of China, but many also ignore a wall that stands just as tall in India. The wall surrounding the ancient fort of Kambalgar is one of the biggest secrets in all of India, and quite possibly the entire world. The wall is believed to have been constructed almost 500 years ago, at the same time the Kambalgar fort was built. It guards the massive fort containing over 300 ancient temples. The fort of Kambalgar extends an amazing length of just over 22 miles. The wall that surrounds it, which history buffs call the Great Wall of India, is speculated to be 50 miles long, making it India's longest fortification and the second longest wall worldwide, only behind China's. Construction on Kambalgar only began in the year 1443, nearly 50 years before Columbus sailed the Atlantic Ocean. It took over 100 years to build and in the 19th century, it was made even bigger. It was built high on a hill so it could observe and dominate the landscape from a distance. At its widest sections, the wall is about 50 feet thick and built with thousands of stone bricks and decorative flourishes. The wall has seven gateways altogether and it's believed that during the reign of Maharana, the wall held so many lamps that local farmers were able to work both day and night. When it was first being built, workers suffered massive failures, with the walls collapsing before construction could really get underway. 
The king, impatient for his wall to be built, consulted a priest who directed the king to seek out those who would voluntarily sacrifice themselves in the hopes of a more prosperous construction. As the chilling story goes, a hermit offered himself up, and he was soon ritually decapitated and his head rolled down a hill. Where it landed was supposedly the best spot to build the wall. Whether the legend is true or not, the fortress still stands today. It was proudly pronounced a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2013 under the gathering hill forts of Rajasthan. However, despite its massive construction and beautiful architecture, not many people know about it. Number 2. Ritual Chambers of the Andes Not all cultures bury their dead underground. The ancient Egyptians used pyramids, and there are even modern burials today in the cemeteries of New Orleans that are above ground. The ancient people of southern Peru, who were known as the Kola tribe, built special tower-like tombs to bury their leaders. They dominated the region before the Incas, and they performed ritual ceremonies where they perfected their mummification techniques, burying their dead in stone towers. These cylindrical structures, called chulpas, stood 40 feet tall and were used to not only bury the ancient Inca nobles, but also their families and offerings to the gods. The chulpas were an important structure found across the high plains that allowed these ancient people to worship their ancestors. Each one had only a small opening in the stone structure facing toward the rising sun that was sealed after the dead were interred. At a site known as Sulustani, there are two different types of towers. One has smaller stone blocks, and the larger tower is made with carved stone blocks that fit together perfectly. Could this be an example of how the construction changed over time? Or could the Incas who later took over the area have adopted these rituals and kept the ancient funerary custom alive? Either way, the towers of Silistani are an important connection to an ancient culture, one that honored the nobility with these awe-inspiring tombs. Number 1. Golan Heights How did one of the most mysterious structures found in the Middle East, one of the oldest and largest structures in the region, go unnoticed for centuries? Does it have ties to biblical references of giants? Maybe if its Hebrew name Gilgal Rephaim, which means Wheel of Giants, is to be believed. Experts estimate the strange structure is about 5,000 years old, making it older than Stonehenge. It's made up of five concentric circles that were built to protect a hidden burial chamber at its core. Instead of the massive stones used at Stonehenge, Golan Heights is made up of thousands of smaller rocks that, when piled together, weigh over 40,000 tons. Its largest circle is about 500 feet wide, but the way the structure was built, it is almost impossible to see from the ground, which is why it remained hidden for so long. It was first spotted by archaeologists studying an aerial survey of the area after the Syrian war in 1967. Once the haunting site was spotted, experts immediately worked to unravel the truth about Golan Heights. Some believe it may have been used for astrological rites after discovering that the sunrise lines up with openings in the rocks at the summer and winter solstices. At ground level, crumbling walls and overgrown weeds hide it from view, but from the air, the sprawling site is quite impressive. Items found at the location over time include pottery shards and flint tools that date the site to around 3500 BC, but newer parts were added to the structure over the next 2000 years. Nowadays, it's used for military training by the Israelis, but visitors can still explore the area, including the 20-foot-long burial chamber, and see for themselves the wonder of the structure. Could the prehistoric monument really be some sort of astronomical calendar for giants? Let us know what you think Golan Heights was built for in the comments below. Number 8 Ancient Chinese Tomb Archaeologists uncovered 6,000 ancient tombs in China's Sichuan province that date back between 475 BC and the 1600s. The discovery was made in 2015 during a construction project, and experts believe the graves could help trace the evolution of Chinese burial customs. The tombs were found cut right out of rocks and on top of massive towering cliffs, directly cut into the cliffside. The graves are mostly inside rock pits that are supported with wood so they don't collapse in on themselves, ruining the artifacts hiding inside. Considered a very important part of Chinese history, the Sichuan province often became a base for independent empires. 
As archaeologists work to find the artifacts, they are uncovering clues about who left them. Terracotta pottery and figurines, as well as ceramic figures of humans and animals, have been unearthed. Even more exciting are the stone artifacts and pieces of pottery, including porcelain, copper, iron, and even glass located there. If that wasn't enough, rare finds including statues of the Buddha and painted miniature ceramic houses and buildings were also uncovered. Why do you think so many priceless artifacts were abandoned there? Could it be lavish offerings left during Chinese burial customs? Sometimes, one social status was shown by leaving lavish grave goods left in tombs so the deceased could use them in the afterlife. Undisturbed for centuries, the unique aerial site was left intact, even though other burials from that period were usually robbed by modern-day tomb raiders. Why do you think grave goods were left undisturbed in their original locations and not stolen? Could it be that the potential raiders saw the importance of the funerary customs? Or could superstition have played a role in them leaving the rich burials undisturbed for so long? As work continues at the tomb cliffs to reveal even more secrets of the ancient Chinese burial customs, the funerary beliefs of the ancient people of China are being celebrated as more intricate objects are uncovered. Number 7. Underground Roman Hot Springs A popular beach area located on Cape Trafalgar on the Cadiz coast of Spain has been hiding a secret. Massive dunes surrounding the cave gave way to reveal 2,000-year-old Roman baths hiding underground. Both archaeologists and locals were stunned at the discovery at an area where thousands of people unknowingly travel through while heading to the beach and hot springs nearby. Remarkably, the Roman baths were in an exceptional state of conservation. Standing almost four meters high, with its doors and windows still intact, the baths have a sophisticated construction that allowed hot air to circulate throughout the chambers. Located nearby, ancient salt factories may be a clue as to why the baths were built. Workers who toiled day in and day out would have needed a place to refresh and remove the sweat of the day, and the hot springs nearby would be the perfect place to do so. When researchers originally began to excavate the site, they expected to find a nursery that would connect to the sea where crustaceans and fish were kept for fattening up. It wasn't until they dug deeper down when they realized that it wasn't a nursery for fish, but in fact, sophisticated Roman baths. With several rooms that had different temperatures and pools of water, the hot springs would have been a lavish luxury for those looking to rejuvenate themselves after a long day of work. The presence of the internal heating system of chambers that ran in the floor and behind the walls gives researchers more hope that they may eventually find additional underground buildings. Number 6. Ancient Chinese Cities Archaeologists consider it a luxury to be able to find just one hidden city. But when six ancient Chinese cities were discovered in 2017, researchers were speechless. The cities were located deep underground in China's Henan province. And with their reveal, the hidden secrets of over 2,000 years of multiple dynasties were unearthed. Original city gates and walls from the Song Dynasty and courtyard walls from the Qing Dynasty somehow managed to survive for hundreds of years. Houses and courtyards excavated at the site show how life in ancient China managed to persevere. It wasn't uncommon for incoming dynasties to build on top of the previous capital cities and the ruins spanning so many decades offer a unique glimpse into how rulers try to make their mark with new constructions. But the ruins weren't always submerged by new bills. Being so close to the south bank of the Yellow River meant ancient cities were at risk of flooding. As the river rose during the wet season, residents were often inundated with floods that washed massive amounts of mud into their villages, burying their homes. Luckily, the Xinjiang Gate site project was started to help excavate these important ancient cities so the legacy of China's dynasties can be preserved for future generations. Number 5. 5th Century Roman Mosaic When archaeologists started working on one of the largest Roman villa complexes in Britain, they hoped to find something unique. They didn't necessarily expect to find the first known Roman mosaic from the 5th century AD underfoot. 
it was more than just a lucky find. It was one that almost didn't happen. During the time period when the mosaic was created, a lot of the Roman towns and villas in Britain had been either abandoned or left to fall into ruins. Known as the Dark Ages, a time when the Roman Empire fell and Britain went into a period of cultural decline. So, the discovery of the mosaic is one that showed the owners of Chedworth, the Roman villa, must have been wealthy. But if Britain was in such a dark period, why would anyone spend so lavishly and build the mosaic? As researchers studied the home, they found evidence that the original wall of the villa was divided to make two rooms from one, laying the mosaic in the new room. Are you wondering what that lavish room was used for? We are too. Maybe it was to house a new farmhand at a time when a lot of the population turned to farming to sustain themselves. Whatever the reason, the mosaic was a sign that the owners must have had some amount of wealth to be able to afford the lavish decoration. With its intricate braided border design, decorative flowers, and knots, it is a significant find. One that shows this type of artistic work was done much later into the century than experts originally believed. Number 4. Ancient Hallucinogens The discovery of a pouch filled with illicit substances shocked researchers who were excavating an ancient site high in the Andes Mountains. Archaeologists were stunned to find a bundle with traces of an ancient hallucinogenic powder in a Bolivian cave. Made from a fox snout, the pouch contained dried plants with traces of mind-altering substances, ones that prove ancient people used psychotropic plants to alter reality. Archaeologists certainly didn't expect to find evidence of ancient people using hallucinogenic potions. And to find it in one of the most unexpected places you can imagine made the discovery even more surprising. The leather kit was later dated by experts, and it is believed to have belonged to someone in the pre-Inca Tiwanaku civilization, who lived in the southern Andes from 550 to 950 AD. But researchers around the world have made similar discoveries, including a group in New Zealand, who found ancient people had been using powerful plants for at least 1,000 years to go on psychedelic journeys. Luckily, the leather kit found in the Andean highlands had been well preserved, remaining hidden in a secret cave at 13,000 feet above sea level for thousands of years. Ancient people believed using these types of plants allowed them to embody specific animals in these supernatural realms. Inside the pouch, there were a number of other objects, including snuffing tablets and a snuffing tube that would have allowed the owner to snort intoxicants. Found in what experts believe was at one time a burial site, there was also a set of llama bone spatulas and a colorful woven textile inside. After taking a closer look at the herbs, experts concluded that because the dried plants found inside didn't grow at altitudes as high as the cave where they were found, the bundle must have belonged to a shaman or other expert who would have taken part in or even conducted some sort of rituals or medicinal work. But the plants inside would have also been very dangerous if the wrong dosage was administered, making it a mind-blowing discovery to say the least. Number 3. Hidden Dead Sea Scroll Text A team of international archaeologists made a remarkable discovery while studying a portion of the Dead Sea Scrolls. What was originally thought to be a blank piece of the historical documents had a secret message hidden on one of its fragments. Gifted by the Jordanian government to the University of Leeds for study, the delicate parchment pieces were originally unearthed at the remote Qumran caves. But how were experts able to detect the hidden message on such tiny fragments? At first glance, the fragments look like they are blank. But thanks to the intense scrutiny by a professor working on a new study of the fragments, a secret message was found. Using special multispectral imaging, a type of photography used to capture images the naked eye can't see, the professor found four readable Hebrew or Aramaic texts on them. One of the fragments had an astonishing four lines of text with 15 to 16 letters. One word that was clearly visible was Shabbat or Sabbath, which could possibly be related to the biblical book of Ezekiel, according to experts. Another exciting find was that one of the fragments still had ancient thread that was part of the initial binding of the parchment scroll. 
the most exciting thing about this discovery is how new technology is allowing archaeologists to uncover the hidden past of ancient cultures. Who knows what other secrets they might find hiding in plain sight? Number 2. Ancient Mayan Phrase It was a race against time and looters at the ancient Mayan city of Holmul when grave rubbers nearly made off with a priceless artifact. A massive phrase outside a multi-roomed ancient building in Guatemala was at risk of being destroyed by grave rubbers who uncovered part of the enormous Mayan facade. Spanning 26 feet long and almost 7 feet high, the massive 1,400-year-old carvings were exposed when looters dug an underground tunnel to get to the priceless stucco relief decorating the outside of a massive building where archaeologists found a burial chamber with human remains, 28 ceramic vessels, and a wooden funerary mask. The phrase is in astonishingly great shape, with traces of rare red paint decorating it. The image is a monumental piece of artwork that displays human figures wearing elaborate feathered headdresses and jade jewelry, which experts think are deified rulers. Even more startling are two previously unknown Mayan gods and at least five unknown rulers also depicted in the breathtaking scene. With still more to unearth in the ancient building, researchers are excited to see what other mysteries lay in wait for them. Luckily, there are some clues about who the building was erected for. Inscriptions on the outside reveal that it was commissioned by King Ajuosaj Chan Kinich, the ruler of a powerful kingdom named Naranjo just south of Homo. Until researchers can excavate further, the important site of the ancient Mayans is under guard to preserve the legacy of the ancient people. Number 1. Porpois Grave Every person who's owned a pet knows the importance animals play in our lives. But why did a group of ancient people in the British Channel Islands create a special grave for a porpoise? At first, when researchers came across the grave, they expected to find human remains inside. But when they started to excavate, they were shocked to find the skull and other body parts of a porpoise. The island of Chapelle d'Omhieu was home to monks in the 14th century, who used it as a place to seek solitude. And it wasn't that strange that humans might have eaten porpoise meat in that time period. But if the monks did dine on the animal, why would they bury it in a grave and not just dispose of its remains in the sea? Some experts think it's possible the animal was buried, packed in salt to preserve it. But why then didn't the monks come back to reclaim it? Another strange clue is that dolphins were actually an important symbol in Christianity, specifically symbolizing Jesus Christ. In the same way the dolphins are friendly and help lost sailors, they symbolized Christ's persona as a friend who delivered worshippers to safer shores in heaven. In Roman imagery, there are often illustrations of dolphins symbolizing the hope of eternal life. Whether this was the reason for the unique burial is still a puzzle to archaeologists, who will study the animal's remains for more clues about how it died. Until then, they will continue to investigate why this surprising burial took place. What do you think? Did the monks bury a beloved animal for food or as a sign of their devout worship? Number 10. Tuna El Jebel and the Sacred Baboon The ancient Egyptian site of Tuna El Jebel was once the capital of the pharaoh Akhenaten, one of the most controversial pharaohs in all of Egyptian history. This guy tried to break away from the traditional religions of Egypt, forcing his people to worship a single sun deity known as Aten. The ruins of this city are just as mysterious as the pharaoh who once ruled here. Several underground cult chapels cased with limestone blocks formed the entrance rooms into the Ibis galleries. The rooms were up to 50 feet long and contained cult niches. In the south of the city is a necropolis in which a strange baboon mummy was discovered by archaeologists. Thousands of years ago, this place was once a catacomb filled with thousands of mummified baboons, millions of mummified birds, and even preserved bird eggs. The ibis bird and the baboon were two sacred animals associated with Thoth, the Egyptian god of the moon and magic. It is believed that a cult of Thoth used this necropolis to continuously store mummified animals as offerings to their god. Unfortunately, grave robbers destroyed most of the mummies, 
Only a handful of preserved baboons were discovered in modern times by researchers. Number 9. The Tolland Man The Tolland Man is one of the strangest things ever discovered by archaeologists. He died 2,400 years ago and was dumped into a bog, where he very slowly transformed into a natural mummy. His death came in the Iron Age with experts saying he was killed as part of a ritual sacrifice to whatever ancient gods the heathen Europeans worshipped at the time. He was found in Denmark not that long ago in the year 1950, with his body so perfectly preserved that the authorities thought he was possibly a murder victim. It wasn't until archaeologists got involved in the case that the police realized they were dealing with somebody quite ancient. The Tolan man was even discovered with a leather noose still tied around his neck. But why was he hanged? He was hung, laid peacefully in a peat bog, and then forgotten for over two millennia. Researchers really don't know much else about the guy, or who he may have been during life, or why he was chosen to be sacrificed to mysterious gods. The only thing they do know is he was around 30 to 40 years old, and what he ate for his last meal. A team of researchers from Denmark analyzed the contents of his stomach, finding that his last meal was consumed about 12 hours before death and consisted of porridge and fish. Number 8. Inca Treasure Ring A mysterious treasure from the Great Inca Empire was discovered on a beach in Florida. How this happened is a long and shocking story that goes all the way back to the 12th century to when the Inca Empire appeared in the Andes Mountains of Peru. The empire grew and grew until they controlled Peru, parts of Chile, and even Ecuador. They had about 12 million people in their civilization and were extremely wealthy in gold and jewels. But then, when the Europeans showed up, they started stealing all the jewels from the Inca. There was a lot of treasure in South America and the Europeans wanted to take it back to their homeland. One of the most notorious trade thieves was King Philip V of Spain, who ordered entire fleets to bring him as much gold, silver, and other treasure back from the New World as physically possible. In 1715, six ships filled with treasure sank off the coast of Florida, with hundreds of tons of riches being lost to the sea. Over 300 years later, that treasure is still washing up on Florida beaches. And that's exactly how the mysterious ancient treasure was discovered on Vero Beach by an expert metal detectorist. He found a gold Inca ring adorned with emeralds, stolen from the Inca, lost by the Spanish, and washed up probably thanks to a hurricane. Have you ever found anything valuable on a beach? What was it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 7. Charred Bones Archaeologists recently did a study on a large group of charred human skeletons that were found in the Italian city of Herculaneum, which, just like Pompeii, was devastated during the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in the year 79 AD. But the study had nothing to do with the volcano. Instead, researchers wanted to get a better idea of what people 2,000 years ago were eating. The researchers discovered that there was a large discrepancy between what was being eaten by ancient Roman men and ancient Roman women. According to archaeologist Oliver Craig with the University of York, they found that men and women had eaten different proportions of marine and land food. By studying the charred bones, they found that men ate lots of cereal and fish, while women ate more eggs and meat. Archaeologists have absolutely no idea why they had such different diets since they lived in the exact same place at the exact same time. One of the theories is that men were probably more involved in the fishing so they were able to eat more fresh fish. Women, on the other hand, were normally involved in the farming, so they ate a lot more chicken, eggs, and meat from their farm animals. Number 6. Four-Legged Whale Scientists discovered the fossil of an ancient whale that had some pretty surprising appendages. This fossil has been dated at 43 million years old. What's so incredible about it is that the whale was actually amphibious and had four legs. What this means is that it basically looked like any whale you would see on Earth today, except that it had four legs and walked on land like a frog. The new species has been named Phyomectus anubis, after the Egyptian god of death. According to the report in Nature World News, scientists had not known about this species of legged whale 
before finding the fossil. However, the whale does belong to an already known group of amphibious whales that scientists call Protocetitis, which lived during the Eocene Epoch. The big mystery is that scientists are still trying to figure out the evolutionary path that the whales were on. They don't know if the whales were initially mammals that walked on land and slowly lost their legs as they spent more time in the sea, or just what exactly was going on here. Do you have any ideas on the unique evolution of these whales? Number 5. Ancient Human DNA The bones of a teenage hunter-gatherer girl who died over 7,000 years ago on the island of Sulawesi in Indonesia has revealed the incredible story of a previously unknown type of human. According to the archaeologists working on analyzing her remains, she was part of the Toalian culture, found only on a small part of the Indonesian island. This culture descended from the first group of modern humans, who entered the area over 50,000 years ago. But what's truly fascinating is that scientists discovered that not a single descendant from this ancient breed of human has made it to modern times. It's a total mystery, as scientists now understand that a totally unknown race of people lived here that they have absolutely no record of. They know that they most likely migrated from Asia, although there aren't any descendants of this lineage remaining. And why they ended up going extinct still remains unknown. Number 4. Roman Letters a collection of 25 Roman letters were recently found at the Fortress of Vindolanda, near Hadrian's Wall in the United Kingdom. These incredible letters detail some rather mundane things, such as an unwelcome beer shortage, some birthday celebrations, and one account of a person getting cold feet. One of these mysterious letters was written by a Roman named Masculus, who was requesting that his commanding officer send more beer supplies to the outpost. He even sent his commanding officer a different letter requesting leave, which archaeologists say could have been the result of a mighty hangover. The letters themselves written on thin pieces of birch bark, and it's a miracle that the ink has remained in good enough condition throughout the last 2,000 years for them to be deciphered. These aren't the only Roman letters ever found at the site either. It was almost three decades ago, in 1992, when a huge cache of Roman letters was discovered here over 700 that have already been translated and published. Many of these can be found in the British Museum right now. Number 3. Eternal Lovers Archaeologists in China were left feeling a little heartbroken after they discovered a pair of lovers who had been locked in an eternal embrace for over 1,500 years. The couple died during the North Wei Dynasty and were buried together, still embracing one another. Aww. They were dug up from a cemetery in the Shangxi province, with the remains being dated back to somewhere between 386 and 534 AD. But before you get too emotional about the dead lovers, there is a bit of a twist. Archaeologists say the woman may have volunteered to be killed in order to be buried with her husband. Oh, she was discovered with a metal ring on her finger, confirming that these two were definitely partners but no cause of death has been determined. It probably won't be determined ever, as archaeologists don't want to remove the lovers from their grave plot. They are instead going to secure the site and leave it available for future visitors. This means the mystery surrounding the entombed couple will never be solved. And in the end, that's probably not such a bad thing. Sometimes love can't be explained. Number 2. Mysterious Canaanite Palace Back in the 18th century BC, there was a massive palace at the site of Tel Kabri, in what is today northern Israel. The enormous palace was built by the ancient Canaanite people, over 65,000 square feet. Archaeologists stumbled upon this place in 2009 and were shocked at just how large and advanced the development of the palace actually was. The thing was built 3,700 years ago, probably serving as one of the political centers for the ancient Canaanite people. However, researchers were equally stunned when they realized that the place had been abandoned abruptly and seemingly without reason. After quite a bit of research, they realized that many of the ruins in the palace and surrounding it were a bit tilted. They soon surmised that a great earthquake had caused the palace to almost completely crumble and had done serious damage to the surrounding settlements. In all likelihood, the people were so terrified that they had been the victims of a vengeful god that they fled the city 
abandon the palace and never return. Number 1. Feathered Shield An ancient feathered shield was discovered hiding inside of a Peruvian temple. It was put there 1,300 years ago, only recently recovered by archaeologists. The shield was crafted by the Moche people, who once ruled much of northern Peru in the time before the Inca. It wasn't quite as effective as some of the shields used by the knights and warriors in Europe, mostly because it hadn't actually been used in fighting. The shield had a ritualistic purpose, found with dozens of macaw feathers sewn into it, though there had probably been over 100 feathers sewn onto its surface when it was first made. The bulk of the shield was made from woven basketry. It seems the moche liked to keep their shields pretty small, which brings up the question of whether they were meant for something like gladiatorial combat or some other type of fighting, and what was the mysterious artifact doing underneath the temple? Archaeologists believe it was used in some sort of ritual in the basement of the temple. Whatever the ritual had been, it was so important that the chamber was sealed completely with the shield still inside. Thanks for watching! Which of these discoveries is the most fascinating to you? Let us know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and come back again for more awesome videos. See you next time. Bye.